the world didn't give it to me oh this joy that i have yes the world didn't give it to me I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed to be a wonderful name. Why don't you greet your brother one more time and say we are going to see the king this morning. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. On the Lord, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. On the Lord, let's take it up. Waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Oh, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. 
I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting, Lord. We are going to see him this morning. Just be patient this morning. Just hold. Just have faith this morning. Just have faith in him this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Oh, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Worship him this morning. Say, Lord, draw me unto you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I, I can't come, Lord, unless you draw me this morning, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I need you this morning, Lord. Oh, call my name, Lord. Call my name this morning, Lord Jesus. Oh, and I'll come running after you this morning. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, do you feel that way this morning? Oh, listen, and he's calling your name this morning. You just listen this morning. Oh, he's calling you by your name this morning. Oh, you are the elect this morning. And I'll come running after thee. One more time, draw me, Lord. the 
hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we wait on you this morning, Lord. Draw us this morning, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, do you feel his presence this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord, as we change out of the service this morning. Let's sing that song again. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. As the servant of God come this morning, be under great expectation. Oh, God can do something great for you this morning. Oh, you just tap in with your faith. And you just expect from him this morning. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind away. Just welcome his presence this morning. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. On the Lord, why don't you lift your hands and just worship Him this morning in your own way? Hallelujah! 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 Oh, hallelujah! We're here to wait on you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah! 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 Oh, we'll wait for an answer from you. Oh, we stand upon our watch and wait to hear what He has to say. He will speak to us this morning. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. By his word and by his spirit. Oh, hallelujah. One more time. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Oh, I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Oh. I don't mind waiting. Who I don't mind waiting. Who I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Oh, hallelujah. Give him worship this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, we praise you this morning with all our hearts. Amen. Praise God. Keep, it, keep, uh, keep playing softly. Amen. How many thank God to be in his presence this morning? Amen. Amen. We have a, we have a prayer request. Um, so we can just bring, keep playing that song. Um, requesting prayer for an, uh, Alana Globon. Uh, who, who suffered a stroke and is looking for total healing Amen. and deliverance for her household by Brother Shane Williams. We want to bring this prayer because before the Lord before we begin the service this morning. And if there's anyone who requests prayer also in their own way, you can show by raise their hands. And the angels are taking down the record this morning. 
of your request. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's bow our heads this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, we're so privileged this morning. Lord, that while the world is slowly dying, and while things are falling apart, Lord, there is a river this morning that we could run to. There is a throne this morning of grace and mercy that is flowing out to us this morning through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We approach this throne this morning all reverence and humility. Lord, knowing that we didn't deserve it, that you died for our sins and you paid the price on Calvary, Lord, that we could be healed and that we could be set free. And now we bring this Alana Gluwan before you this morning, Lord. We don't know her, but you know her, Lord Father. Lord, you know where she is, Lord. And your grace is able to reach down this morning. Your hand is not too short that you can't save. Lord, we bring her condition before you this morning. Lord, she has requested prayer. Almighty God, we pray you touch her now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord, may she feel the anointing of the angels right now. Even while we're praying, Lord Father, we can't be where she is, but we speak a word of healing this morning. Touch her in a mighty way, Lord. I may I touch her household. I may I bring great deliverance to them, Father, through your power of your salvation and, and saving grace, Lord. Bless each one here this morning. Lord, touch each one that needs strength, Lord. Need deliverance, Lord. Need a breakthrough, Lord, Father. Lord, meet every need in our house this morning. And may everyone, Lord, receive their heart's desire this morning. Granted, Almighty God. We even pray now, Lord, Father, for your servants, Brother Ovid and Brother Isaac, Lord, as they are traveling through France and the Congo. Father, we pray your anointing be upon them and continue to strengthen them and inspire them. For the services that yet lay ahead and, and, and for their travels, Lord, touch their bodies, Lord Father, their throats, Lord. Lord, everything, Lord Father, may they be perfect in your will. May everything be done for your honor and for your glory. Bless the meetings, Lord Father. Bless everything, Lord, in Jesus' name. And now may you bless this day, Lord. Take complete control and have your perfect way. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen, amen. and amen. You love him this morning. Amen. Praise God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't you turn around and go and greet your brother, greet your sister. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I love you. I love you. That is what Calvary said. I love you. I love you. Oh, yes, Lord. I love you. Turn in red. Oh, one more time with all your heart. Oh, I love, love you. Oh, I love, I love you. Oh, yes, that is what Calvary said. this morning he loves you this morning oh hallelujah he paid the price for you this morning that you could go free that you could get your heart's desire that you could be here that you could be delivered that you could be restored that's the power of his love satan's hate is not powerful than the power of god's love oh hallelujah his love brought you out his love put your feet on solid ground this morning oh hallelujah hallelujah his love went past who you are his love went past what you did oh hallelujah and gave you a second chance another chance at life again oh hallelujah that's the love of god oh we have a right to shout this morning we have a right to worship our god we have a right to sing we have a right to smile my god oh 
we are to be the happiest people on the earth. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen, amen. Well, I certainly greet you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of my wife and family, we greet the church this morning. We say God bless you. And we thank God always to be in fellowship with you. Amen. amen. It might feel like an ordinary day, but we thank God for every day. Amen. amen. I didn't have to be here today, but I'm here. Amen. By the grace of Almighty God. Amen. This is a glorious day. Amen. This is the day that the Lord had made. Amen. And we are going to rejoice and be glad for this day. Amen. Oh we have life this day we have strength this day God has provided for us oh hallelujah oh, there's meal in the barrel there's oil in the cruise this morning there's a reason to celebrate the name of Jesus Christ he gave us life and health and strength oh hallelujah hallelujah oh is that what you came to do this morning I don't care what your circumstances this morning he brought you out this morning there's a reason to shout there's a reason to dance there's a reason to lift your hands up and say glory be to God I know my Redeemer live it though the skin worms destroy this body yet in my flesh I shall see God for myself and not another oh hallelujah praise God amen oh we shall see the king when he come oh he's here this morning he's right among us his presence is here oh worship him this morning praise him in the spirit and the king will come to you oh hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah hey many man well it feels good in here this morning sit and appreciate the song service brother joshua philip god bless you hey man wonderful my Praise God. Well, pastor's put it upon, uh, put it upon me to uh, come to you the message this morning, and the Lord has quickened someone to my heart. So we'll turn over now to the Scripture, Amen. And I want to turn to three portions of the Scriptures, Amen. Thank you, musicians. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to go to the book of Saint Matthew, chapter thirteen. We're going to read from verse three to 17 and then we'll read a scripture in Isaiah and then Revelation okay so Amen Hallelujah Praise God Amen St. Matthew chapter 3 Amen uh, St. Matthew chapter 3, uh, sorry, St. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 3, amen. Sorry about that, mix it up. Um, praise God, so, so you can find chapter 13 and, um, and then we'll read from 3, uh, verse 3. So here he's talking about the parable of the, 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 the sower and the seed, amen. So from verse 3 it says, And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit. Some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Now hear this part. And the disciples came unto him, uh, and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not. Neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, of, of Isaiah which saith, By hearing ye he shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive for the, this people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are full of, are dull of hearing and their eyes 
they have clothes, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Jesus said, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Amen. So very privileged people we are this morning. Amen. To see what we see, and to hear what we hear. Okay, so let's go over now to Isaiah. Book of Isaiah chapter 55, familiar scripture, and then we go over to Revelation chapter 10, uh, 1 through 7. Amen. Isaiah 55, reading from verse 6. Amen. A bit lengthy with the scripture this morning, and I uh, do apologize, but uh, there's a few things that the Lord wants to uh, bring out here this morning. So we'll just uh, go through, amen. But yeah, Isaiah 6, 50, uh, chapter 55 and verse 6 says, uh, uh, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, and call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the righteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth fruit, uh, bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Amen. Now going over to Revelation chapter 10, 1 through 7. Amen. We praise God and then we'll, we'll pray once more. Amen. Hallelujah. So Revelation chapter 10, uh, from verse 1, talking about a little book. It says, And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open. And he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot upon the earth, and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, the earth, and the things that therein are, and the sea, and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he had declared to his servants, the prophets. Let's bow our heads one more time. Amen. Heavenly Father, we've read your word, Lord. And Lord, we pray, Lord Father, that you bring life to these scriptures here now, Lord God. Here we stand in great need of thee, Lord. I stand here, Father, with your people. Lord, may you speak with our hearts, Lord Father. Lord, by your word, Lord Father, may I anoint the word to this morning, Lord Father. And bring it, Lord Father, in such a spot, Lord, where your people could see it, Lord. Where we could run with it, Lord Father. Grant it, Almighty God. For he that readeth may run, Lord Father. Lord, may your Holy Spirit come down in a special way and anoint me, Lord. Take me out of the way, Lord. And help me to speak to your people now for a few moments, Lord. And Lord, may I be glorified in this day, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and ask. Amen and amen. Hey, praise God. You can have your seats. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, do you love the Lord this morning? Amen, amen. Certainly want to appreciate but over this morning in the ministry. Praise God that God has placed among us. Amen. In a special way. We know they're on the fields and Amen. We'll pray in our hearts while we preach the word and stay in the spirit this morning. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Do you love the Lord this morning? Glory. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you on the internet. You know there's many of us hooked up this morning that we can't see physically, but they are in the spirit this morning just as we are in the spirit, amen. waiting on the coming of the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Amen. 
So I have a title this morning, and my title is The Greatest Message on the Earth. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The greatest message on the earth. We have received a message. It's the greatest message that ever, that ever to come in this age. Praise God. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? And for every age, there was a message that went forth. But there's a people in the land to receive that message. Pray, isn't that right? Oh, hallelujah. And there's today another people in the land who are to receive a message. Pray, a message has come to us. This message have life in it. This message have power in it. This message have redemption in it. This message has light in it. Praise God. Isn't that right? The Bible said gross darkness covered the earth. Gross darkness covered the people. And we see that happening right now. Isn't that right? All over the world, darkness is spreading. It's spreading in the homes. It's spreading in schools. It's spreading in societies. It's spreading in communities. But at that time, the Bible said, lift up your head. Because redemption draw it nigh. A message come to us in the middle of darkness. A message of light. Let there be light. A message had been spoken to our hearts. God had predestinated a message to come to our people in this time now oh hallelujah 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 isn't that right oh praise God amen oh hallelujah we thank God for a message a message from God it is God communicating with us that's what a message means it's actually a written the, the, the definition of a message is either a verbal or written or a recorded communication sent to or left for a recipient which is a specific person so God in his thinking had a message to send to us in 2016 so in his mind he knew that we would be here in his mind he knew that we would have mistakes he knew we would fall he knew we would grovel through the mud he knew we'd be this way and that but in our hearts we were to be sons and daughters of God God knew that so God before the beginning had a message of redemption God before the beginning had a message of light to come to this dark age oh had the prophet put a little sliver of light by faith knowing that a message would get to a bride in Trinidad a bride all over the world he had a message predestinated for us a message that was pre-recorded a message that was pre-sent oh had to be delivered to our hearts oh hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah 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 we were we were unaware of it we didn't know about it oh it was our inheritance but we didn't know we had an inheritance we thought we were bastard children we thought we were orphans we thought we were strangers and we only get to realize that God is our father oh hallelujah and if God is our father then what does that make you this morning if you shall say to this mountain be moved there's a little bit of God in you this morning I can hear you I can hear you my people that are called by my name if they humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways God will hear from heaven and God will answer the cry of his children oh hallelujah 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 so it's a message I'm gonna try to bring this real simple this morning hallelujah 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 it's a message for you it's a message for me it's a message to call us out of Laodicea out of this dark and cruel age they are head uh, heady are high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God truth bakers false accusers and this is the church we're not talking about the outside now but the devil has come into the church and polluted the thing praise God but there will be true believers 
in that mixed crowd hey. oh, this one no want it this one no feel for it but in that mixed crowd God have people oh holiday like Jacob oh holiday they want their birthright this morning they don't care what they have to do they don't care if they have to crawl on the floor they don't care if they have to scream they don't care if they have to cry but give me my birthright give me a blessing praise God I want I want that kind of blessing that saves and fills and seals and satisfies my soul oh say man somebody oh hallelujah oh I feel so good this morning I don't know about you but I was born for this thing I was born for this hour I'm not a nobody I am somebody God don't make no joke when God went on Calvary he died for a sinner such as I and made me a pearl of great price oh hallelujah oh hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah God in his mind had a love letter for you God in his thinking had a message for you and the beautiful part is he knew that you would receive it because there's not everybody that could receive it Jesus said I come not for the world but for them which thou have called for they are mine and all mine are thine and I will be glorified in them oh hallelujah hallelujah this message come to wake us up this message come to give us faith this message come to turn our hearts back to the faith of the fathers we are here to keep the faith and to starve our doubts to death praise God amen hallelujah oh hallelujah glory to God do you believe it this morning amen amen hallelujah oh throw those shoulders back you're a son of God this morning throw your shoulders back you're a daughter of God this morning lift up your head your redemption draw it nigh we have not believed cunningly devised fables but this morning we have a more sure word of prophecy for you this morning you are going to be filled you are going to be sealed you are going to be adopted yes you no matter what your condition you are going to be a son of daughter of God because God cannot change his mind about who you are this morning it is finished come on now come on now praise God oh the devil is finished your sin is finished we have a message this morning a message of a declaration of a proclamation you can go free this morning because who the son of man set free is free and tea shout to the rooftops the freedom and liberty of the sons of God this morning So come on now, put a smile on that face. God promised to make the desert blossom. The desert, dry, hot, dust, dirt, dirt, dust infected desert with scorpions and snakes. Yeah, that same desert. God promised to make the desert blossom and spring up a well and bring forth fruit in your season. You're gonna be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water or anything you do will prosper. God spoke to Ezekiel and said, can these dry bones live? Ezekiel said, thou alone knowest. God told Ezekiel, prophesy to those bones and let bone come to bone. Let them stand up. Come on, you can stand up this morning. God is putting you back together. God doesn't get tired of putting people back together. He's doing it this morning. But a prophecy is going out. Let these dry bones live. Let the sinews come upon these bones. And let breath come into you this morning. <sighs> Receive you the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 
Oh my. Praise God. Wow. Well, that was our introduction. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Woo. I feel like we're hearing from heaven this morning. Forms of communication. The Bible preserved for thousands of years. Waiting for you to read it. Oh, just think about it. When Peter was reading, God said, this is for her. When John was writing, God said, this is for my children. In 2016, they are going to read the same word. And it will be life to them. And my spirit will come upon them. And make this word that has been laying in this Bible for all these years. But the devil is going to see another Jesus in Trinidad, in Europe, in Germany, in France, wherever, whenever. They'll be walking the streets. Satan is bound to be moved. Woo! Who is this uncircumcised Philistine this morning? There is another people. Another people. Oh, wonderful. Glorious. Amen. Is his name Jesus? Amen. Okay. Give me a break here. Amen. Amen. Okay. So we on fire this morning. Amen. It's good. Amen. Well, the devil is outside. Praise God. Spiritual meaning of a communication. Spiritual meaning of a message. Listen to this. It's a communication in a form from a prophet or a preacher that is believed to be inspired of God. Isn't that right? That's the spiritual meaning of a message that is sent from God. Isn't that right? So throughout human history, man has tried to communicate his messages communication is a very important form of, of how we operate here on earth isn't that right in this earthly way message sending is very important because we have to be able to communicate with one another to be able to get our ideas across and to be able to get our opinions across and to be able to achieve certain objectives we have to be able to send a message isn't that right and as far as history tells us, the first form of communication was shouting. Isn't that right? So they tried to shout. They had shouting contests, I heard. And the furthest they ever got was 100 meters, which wasn't very far. So they realized that a more effective form of communication was to run with the message. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? So they would give a messenger the message. And that messenger would have to run with the message to the intended destination. To the intended target. Isn't that right? It was more effective than shouting. Because he couldn't get far with shouting. But if you send a messenger with the message, it would be a more effective form of communication. So think about it. Hallelujah. God, in, this, in these ages that have gone past, had messengers who ran with their message. In their tale, Luther ran with his message. Oh, hallelujah. And when he got to a certain place, he passed his message on to Wesley. And Wesley ran with his message. And when Wesley ran, he ran and got to a certain place. And he passed his message on to Malachi 4. And he ran with a message. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. How, who do you say this is? Praise God. I say to you this morning, the message has got home. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm told, I'm told in a time of war, that's before they had the internet, young people. They had these messengers used to run with the message. And sometimes a camp would be in trouble. The enemy would be on approach and they didn't have enough to take out the enemy. So they have to send a messenger with a message to go for backup, to get help for them. And sometimes if this messenger got seen by the enemy, they would try to take them out. They would try to wipe them out. They would try to kill them. And that's what the devil's been trying to do all these years he's been trying to kill God's messengers he's been trying to cut them off he's been trying to cut them off from getting to us because of that message ever got to us if we ever got to realize who we really are the devil is gonna be in trouble so the devil said don't let them get that message the devil shot arrows the devil shoot at them or how he try to kill them but the message this morning is out the secret is out this morning Morning. the word is in the prior oh hallelujah 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 
Hallelujah. Now they say that message sending or communication is based on a language. Okay? So they say the sender and the receiver have to speak the same language in order for the message to be effective. That's why the Tower of Babel was almost a success. Because they were speaking the same language. Isn't that right? And they were able to communicate with each other and tell each other what the vision was. And once they were unified on the vision, then they began to build. And even in the building process, the communication had to be the same. The language, whatever the form of communication they were using had to be the same and everybody had to be on the same page in order for this thing to work. And they were so in one mind, that they were so in one accord, that it brought God to attention. It brought God's uh, alertness to the situation that was developing here on earth with this city called Babel. Oh, I know this tower called Babel rather. And God spoke and said the people are one. They are in one mind. They are in one accord. And they are going to achieve what they set out to accomplish. So God changed language. And had everybody speaking a different tongue. And when that happened, well, we know the whole thing fell flat. Isn't that right? Now, spiritually speaking, we have to be speaking the same language. If it is, we're going to be unified on the vision that Malachi 4 had said and that Malachi 4 had promised. So we can't be saying one thing over here and another thing over there and another interpretation over there and this one preaching that and this one believes this thing. No, it has to be whatever the prophet spoke, that's what's going to happen. Word on top of word, line by line, here a little, there a little, until we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, into the measure of the stature of the perfect man. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So when we say seven thunders give faith, we are speaking the same language. When we say seven thunders gather our bride together, we are speaking the same language. When we say the Holy Ghost is promised to be poured out upon individuals, we are speaking the same language. When we say you are going to be delivered, we are speaking the same language. When we say you are going to be healed, we are speaking the same language. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were in the upper room and they were praising in God's name because they understood the language. They were speaking the same thing. They were in one mind. They were in one accord. They were single eye, single motive, single purpose. And they heard from heaven. They heard the sound of a rushing mighty wind. Praise God in many, many, many men. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? It's like a love letter. And the sender is sending the love letter. This man or this woman who is in love is sending a letter to someone else who loves them back. Just the same. And they are speaking a certain kind of language. Now if you and I pick up the letter, we may not understand everything that they are saying. There are little idiosyncrasies in there. There are, little, there are little jokes in there. There are inside jokes in there. There are things that you don't know about. But when that person who shares that special connection with that special somebody, when they read the letter, when they pick up the letter of whatever it is saying, they begin to say, oh my, oh wonderful. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, hallelujah. They're bubbling over. You want to know what they're smiling about? You want to know how long they could talk for? But brother, when you're in love, you don't care about the hours. When you're in love, you fall asleep on the phone. You read the letter over and over because you're in love. Well, your father in heaven loves you so much. And he had a love letter for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are here to read it for you this morning. Who shall believe our report? His report says you are free. His report says you are sealed. His report says you are delivered. His report says your family is coming. His report says you are going to make it. His report says you are one of them. His report says not many days hence. I shall visit you. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Halleluja. Halleluja. Oh, Halleluja. Halleluja, Halleluja, Halleluja. Oh, Halleluja. 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 And what does a message do? It gets you ready for what's coming next. The world doesn't have a clue what's coming next. But the prophet left us a message. And brother, we're going to get ready for the coming of the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get ready. Oh, isn't that right? There once was a woman. She was a washerwoman. She washed dishes. That's what she loved to do. She loved to clean and keep the house tidy. And they were having a party one time. And all oh, this great duke was supposed to come by and visit them. This great rich young man. And everybody was ready for the party. But she wasn't in that party thing. Praise God, she had to wash the dishes. She was in the back washing the wares and doing what she had to do. And this great man came along. Everybody was all sweetened up and perfumed. And they were all in the party and in the spirit of the thing. And they were toasting their glasses and they were in the spirit of the music. And this young man got fed up of the, of the scene. Because everybody was throwing themselves at him. And they knew he was rich and they knew who he was and so they were trying to put a show of it and he got fed up of the whole thing so he went in the back to see if he could find some real people to talk to because all these people were just fake this fake woman fake guy and fake jokes and he was fed up of it so he went in the back to see if he could find somebody real that he could connect with and he found this little barefoot woman washing dishes sweet lady she was humble she was kind she didn't bother too much about who she who he was she had her thing to do and the more he talked to her the more genuine she was the more he got be before uh, beyond her layer by layer he began to realize how real and how genuine she was brother this man left this woman a message this man gave this woman a promise he said listen I'm gonna come back for you at an appointed time at an appointed day at an appointed hour in the evening time I'm gonna come back for you I'm gonna marry you and this woman received a message oh hallelujah hallelujah isn't that right she was full of joy Hallelujah. My she might told her friends. This man told me he's going to marry me. And they didn't believe her. They laughed at her. They looked at her clothes. They looked at her face. They looked at her hair and they judged her. But they didn't know who she really was. She was already the wife of a rich man. She was already the wife. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God, brother. The marriage of the lamb has come. And his wife had made herself ready. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Do you know who you are? You are the lamb wife oh, hallelujah hallelujah before the beginning God slipped a wedding band of grace on your finger he kissed you on your cheek and he sent you to 2016 and he knew in his heart that one day you would come to the realization of who you are and when you do you'll kick the devil out when you do you'll put Satan out of your life oh hallelujah onward to victory onward to Jesus Christ oh hallelujah oh let me finish the story this woman waited she got her stuff ready she had a gown she had a bouquet she had her, her, her veil she was all decked out and all her friends was laughing at her still because they didn't get the message but she got the message and when she got the message, she did what she had to do. Because she knew that that message was going to be fulfilled. And brother, we have received a message this morning. And we know that God doesn't lie. We know that God doesn't make up stories. But if he said, you're going to be filled, then brother, let's get ready for it. If he said, we're going to have a revival, then let's make ready for it. We are right in time. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My, 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 my. So no wonder the Bible says that light cannot have communion with darkness because they are speaking two different languages. That's why when you're on the scene, when you're on the work and you're, and you're on the job or wherever and you're talking to somebody and they're not saved or they don't know Jesus Christ, they're talking a different language. Isn't that right, young people? 
They talking about parties. They talk about pumping this fat, going this party, and you're not in that atmosphere because you are a messenger of light, and they bring in darkness. But but you bring in light, and light and darkness cannot have communion in the same place. No, no, no. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. Don't let the devil put pressure on you. You put pressure on the devil. Darkness has to flee when light is in the place. When light is in the area, the only way you could compro if you could give up your light is when you compromise. But when you shine your light, is it that they move or be moved? Or is it that they be influenced by you? Praise God. Or they go to a different location. Oh, hallelujah. But don't compromise with your light. Let your light so shine before men. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I used to work in a workplace, so I know. Amen. Sometimes I tell them I'm a Christian. I go to church. So they say, okay. So sometimes they have their little talks and so on, and they're in the corner. Sometimes I come by, and they'd say, Anthony, we don't want you here. We're seeing some things here that, huh. And you already said you're a Christian, so praise God, amen. I'd say, all right, and I'd leave them. Because I didn't want their anointing to affect me. I didn't want their atmosphere to affect me. And you've got to do the same, young people. You've got to draw your sword. You've got to draw the line. Let them know where you stand. Don't be afraid. If the Muslim could do it, you could do it too. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said the Pharisees love one another. But uh, hallelujah. But you gotta love your own. You gotta love your enemies too. You gotta love them that curse you. You've got to do better than that. This message has been given for a purpose. And to whom much is given, much is expected. Oh, much is expected of us. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Isn't that right? But don't you worry. There's an anointing coming to give you the power to do what you have to do. Praise God, hallelujah. You take your stand and God will take his stand with you. In that hour and season, amen. Oh, wonderful, okay. Hallelujah, they love him this morning. Praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Isn't that right? Oh my, did I flip on here? I think I missed something. Oh, did I? Amen. Praise God. Oh, okay. In every age, God had a message. Isn't that right? God gave a message to Noah. Isn't that right? One time the world was so wicked, evil. There was darkness all around. God had repented that he made, it ma made man. Hallelujah. But Noah found grace in God's sight. And Noah whispered a message, it was whispered a message by God saying that it will rain. Build me an ark of gopher wood. Noah was the only one who received that message. And from the time that that message was spoken, Noah had a burden to build an ark as the Lord had said. Hallelujah. For 120 years, he went with his message and he preached it will rain to a generation of people who had seen no rain. Because in those days, the mist still watered the earth like in Genesis. So they'd never seen rain before. They'd never seen water and, and, and fall, fall from the sky like that, like rain and so on. They'd never seen that. So this was a weird thing. This was a strange thing to them. They'd never known about this rain and so on. And, and Noah was preaching something at that time that was contrary to the people. Amen. It was contrary that this rain message, it will rain, it will rain, it will rain. Hallelujah, isn't that right? Amen. And the people didn't know about this rain, so they argued it. They debated it. But nevertheless, it was a word from the Lord. It was a word from God. Hallelujah. It was God's word to the people. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? And it came through Noah. It came through an unlikely vessel. It came through an unlikely person. But God, hallelujah, hallelujah, burdened Noah with this message. And Noah preached it in season, out of season. No matter what this one was saying. No matter what that one was saying. No matter how much doubt there was in the church. He preached, it will rain. It will rain. It will rain. Oh, hallelujah. And one day it did rain. One day the door was shut. One day no more flesh could be saved. One day Noah and his family was in the ark. And the God manifested what he had spoken to them oh hallelujah 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 isn't that right hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. that was a message for that day Amen. hallelujah isn't that right Amen. later on down through the years God gave Moses a message he said let my people go the hour of my deliverance has come to the people of the children uh, to, the, to the children of Israel down in Egypt hallelujah isn't that right the time on God's watch was over 
for the bondage of the people of Israel down in Egypt praise God hallelujah they were slaving they were there 400 years but God had given a word a message to Moses to go down there and to let my people go all the time Moses is in the ordinary Moses is in his thing Moses is in his humanistic Moses is going to work and coming back home but Moses doesn't know hallelujah that time is up for the Egyptians Moses doesn't know the same place he ran from is the same place he has to go back to hallelujah 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 and God began to cause an attraction on the mountain and when Moses said I turn aside to see what is this thing that God is calling me to hallelujah isn't that right hallelujah God began to speak to Moses and say take your shoes from off your feet for the place where I understand it is holy hallelujah hallelujah take your shoes from off your feet I want to speak to you I want to tell you something the Egyptians down there they have my people in bondage they have my people in slavery they have my people in decimation but I have come down to deliver them according to my word oh hallelujah 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 isn't that right That was a message for that day. Let my people go. Now that seemed impossible. Because as far as the Egyptians are aware, the people of Israel have no hope. They have no way of getting out of this slavery condition. They have no way of being released from their bondage. These fetters and chains on their hands seem like they would last forever. They were big chains. They were thick chains. They were being beaten. They were being mocked and scorched. But little did the devil know that those chains had a time limit on it. The devil didn't know. It didn't matter how big those chains was. How much he beat them. How much he whipped them. It had a time limit on it. And that time was ticking down, ticking down. Oh, and all that the devil tried to do to us all throughout the years. Oh, but it has a time limit on it. Oh, hallelujah. Your sickness is not forever. Your trial is not not forever your circumstance is not forever God in his own time is gonna break the chains off of your life praise God hallelujah that's not forever no 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 weeping may endure for a night but I say this morning joy comes in the morning joy comes to those who are willing to wait for him oh hallelujah he will answer you according to the time of life oh hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here was Moses, a little old man with a stick and his, 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 his uh, servant Aaron with him going down to Egypt. Hallelujah. What's he going for? A little man with a stick and an old tattered robe and some old clothes on and a long beard. He's over 40. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's in the desert, but he's going down to take over. He's an aged man. Praise God. 40 years have passed. He can't do anything in his own strength, but he had a message from God. Hallelujah. He's not um, uh, responding or believing in his own strength, in his own will and power. He can't do anything about those children down there, but God is with him. And the same God that spoke to him is the same God that's going to deal with this situation. Brother, when God speaks to your heart when God gives you liberty in your soul brother you can stand anywhere you can do anything because God is in control God is in charge of the situation God is in charge of the circumstance oh hallelujah hallelujah is that right that's why Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were so confident in their exploits. They were so confident in that circumstance that they were in. They were willing to hot the fire seven times hotter. And they had a testimony that even if our God don't deliver us, we will not bow down because we believe in this God. We speak of this God. We know this God. Hallelujah. And we're here to make a testimony for God. Hallelujah. We're here to make a stand for God whether he deliver us or whether he don't deliver us we are going to stand anyhow praise God whether he come or whether he don't come even if I can't hear from God the devil is not going to move me is that your testimony brother I'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water I shall not be moved oh 
hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's why when we pray, we believe that we have received and we shall receive it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, because the victory is in your mind first. Then you go out to the battle. That's what Jesus did. He lay there in the garden of, Get garden of Gethsemane and pleaded and cried. What was he doing? He was overcoming. Out there on his knees, his sweat like drips of blood. But he was overcoming, overcoming. Not my will, Lord, but thy will be done. And that's what you have to do sometimes with your good self. Because your good self is rotten. Your good self is nothingness. Oh, I'm not talking about bad self. Bad self is smoking and drinking, lying and fornicating. But I'm talking about the good self. That good self that doesn't want to die. That good self that pays tithes. That good self that comes early. And that good self that don't spit on the sidewalk. That same good self has to die one of these days. If Christ is ever to live in you. That good self. That nice self. That pretty self. That one self you look at in the mirror every morning. That same self has got to die. Not my will Lord. But thy will be done. You got to be willing to die. Oh, isn't that right? Samson said, let me die with my Philistines. I'm willing to give it up. I'm willing to give it all up. Give up my life. Give up my will. Give up my desires. Give up all my hopes. Give up all my dreams for the one that saved me. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shh. Got to be willing to die. Jesus said, unless a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abide alone. But when it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Oh, hallelujah. There's victory in death. There's hallelujah. An overcoming in death. There's a blessing in death. Don't look at death as a sad thing. Don't ever have a sad face when you talk about that spiritual death because that's where God thrives in you. That's where God comes out in you. The less of, more of yourself you become is the more God becomes more and more inside of you. The less of yourself you become, the less, the more God rips away from you and rips away your pride. Rips away your selfishness, rips away your anger, rips away the hurt, takes away the pain, takes away all that the past has done to you. God is reforming you. God is reshaping you. God is transforming you. There in the silence, the devil cover you over with the dirt, but he didn't know that you were a seed. He didn't know that you had a promise of life inside of you and, and life throw dirt on you and this circumstance throw dirt on you and you can't see the sun no more, but, 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 but there's a life there's a law inside of the seed hallelujah and that law has got to live out that law has got to come forth oh hallelujah 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 praise God amen the silent period it's very dark and you don't see anything there's no signs of life there's nothing to encourage you there's nothing to to, to look up to it's just darkness everywhere hallelujah but the real thing is not to look on the outside but there's something on the inside that God is getting ready to bring out and the Holy Spirit that watering spirit is really to come upon the seed inside of you and to bring out the qualities of who you are in its time and season isn't that right praise God hallelujah because when a message comes, it's a word and it's a word of anointing for that season and time and day isn't that right and in us is an anointing in us is a word that is to be come forth in its hour and season and in its time praise God hallelujah isn't that right so it doesn't matter what the circumstances and there's a time of lingering before God brings on his promised word hallelujah he's there and you don't know it Abraham stayed there in the spirit 25 years he didn't hear nothing he didn't see nothing yet he's to journey yet he's traveling and holding on to something holding on to that word that was spoken to him he nursed on the promises of God it will be it will be I shall have a son oh hallelujah he gave them a promise of it he changed Abram's name to Abraham which means father of nations so every time Sarah was quarreling in the morning and telling him something praise God and she uttered his name he couldn't help but remember God's promise 
every time he spoke her name they remembered God's promise because their very names was to take on life one day oh hallelujah and your name is not Lee Vale your name is not John Jones but the mystery of what the book is while it is calling those names so every morning we come to church and say you are going to be filled every morning we say seven thunders give faith seven thunders gather the bride together and when we speak your name it renews your faith it renews the promise of God you get stronger and stronger because we are prophesying over you oh it shall be it shall be oh hallelujah 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 isn't that right so anytime we hear it it ought to renew us it ought to shake the world off of us it ought to shake the weeds off of us isn't that right we are journeying and sometimes on a journey you might have to pass through some strange places isn't that right sometimes you might even get some weeds on your clothes you know they're talking about little bud bud and they have to pull it off your shoes isn't that right and sometimes the world has a way of putting things on you sins and mistakes and faults and shortcomings and you get stuff all over but this morning we come to pick it off one by one gonna pull it off for you praise god hallelujah get those things off for you don't let those things hold you back shine your shoes this morning your shoulder come on hallelujah get to stepping get to moving you're a son of god hallelujah hallelujah take the world off for you take those little things off for you don't let nothing hold you back don't let nothing keep you back keep going forward hallelujah you're a son of god you're a daughter of god hallelujah you're a child of the king oh hallelujah praise god amen Oh, get a lot of shout of praise this morning, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. My. Hallelujah. Let my people go. He uttered his message. And what did Pharaoh do? Well, he laughed. Because I was real funny. Two guys come in the middle of my courtyard among thousands of soldiers to tell me to let his people go. Who is he? Is he God? He speaks like God, but he don't look powerful. He's an old man. Praise God. What does he have to do with me? But they didn't see the size of the God that was with them. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. They didn't see the God of Israel. Hallelujah. He was getting ready to flex his muscles. Oh, they were laughing at what they could see. Well, hallelujah. But what, what if they could see what they couldn't see? They wouldn't be laughing then, but God was getting ready to show himself strong. God was getting ready. <laughs> see, what God hated was their pride. Because if it wasn't for Joseph had sojourned in that land, had they not survived the seven years of famine, God is what put them in that position of prosperity and God is what had them in that place of power. It was God that had them in that, that, that strategic economical position. They were prospering because of the people that were in that land. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wherever you go, God has your cup to run over. Your footsteps are ordered of the Lord. God has blessings following you. Hallelujah, you don't even know about it. That's why you're here this morning. That's why the devil hates you. Because every move you make, God makes a way of escape for you. Every move you make, God opens a door for you. Hallelujah, the devil gets madder, but he can't get you. Hallelujah, he's running behind you. But you keep on running. As long as you're running and the devil's behind you, it means he hasn't got you. So keep on running. Hallelujah, God will cut off your enemies. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And every time the enemy come with a flood, the Spirit of God raise a standard against it. Raise a standard against it. Raise a standard against it. Amen. And the message of the hour went forth. Amen. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my. Taking up so much time here. All right. Well, let me speed on. Praise God. So all these prophets were in shadow of type. And the wonder was to come was Jesus Christ, Son of God. Isn't that right? I'll read here from um, why it had to be shepherd. He said, now remember, the Messiah was already in the city, born in the city in a stable, right by the great cathedrals where the high priests and the great priests and the theologians and the wise and the trained all was there waiting for the Messiah. And there he was right in their midst. But why then did they go 
talking about those angels, he said, why then did they go to out to the hills of Judea to unlearn, untrained, uncultured, poorest of all, look like the most unfit person for such a task, to reveal the message and to spend, send them out to bring the message. Paul Branham said, you know my opinion? He said, it might not all amount to very much, but I want to pass my opinion. He said, I believe it's because of the wisdom of God that he knew that they wouldn't receive such a message. Because of the way it come, they wouldn't receive such a message. He said, it wasn't in the taste of their learning. He said, it was different. It wasn't what they'd been trained to believe he would be like. Oh my. See what human interpretations does. God gives a word, a Messiah will come. And then man put his own interpretation to it as to how this Messiah would come. And they got thrown off. Isn't that right? He said it wasn't the taste of their learning. It was different. It wasn't the way that they had trained to believe he would be like. It was contrary to their theological understanding. All their training, all their learning was bypassed, become naught. He said, I believe it was the wisdom of God that knew that they wouldn't receive such a message. He said, so the Messiah was here. And there must be somebody to recognize him. And he knew those who hadn't been mixed up in such stuff as that. He, he would be more able to get his message to an unlearned group. That he would be, uh, that he would be that, uh, a mixed group. That was so set in their ways and that nothing could turn them on. Not even the word of God. What a condition. So there's two groups. There's one that hallelujah has got their own interpretation. And there's another group, a group of people who are simple, humble, looking for God to be made manifest in their own lives. They don't feel worthy of it. Hallelujah. But this is the people that God could use. These are the people that God could find. And we may not much think much of ourselves, but, but you are one who God was looking for all the time. Hallelujah. If you're too much in your head, oh, hallelujah, God can't use you. If you're too much in your own human reasoning, God can't use you. If you're too much in your own educations and in your own learnings and what you think and how you feel, God can't use you. But it's down in the heart, a genuine desire for God, a humble, simple, praise God, recognition of God. We need God in our lives and we're not ashamed of it praise God we're not ashamed to admit that we need God more and more we're not ashamed to admit that we need him hallelujah 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 oh I'm not ashamed to admit that I need God this morning how many feel the same way this morning we need the Holy Spirit we need the power to make it in this hour oh hallelujah see that was a wisdom of God because the wisdom of God is the foolishness of man. And the foolishness of God is man's wisdom. Isn't that right? He knew they wouldn't receive such a message. So the Messiah was here. And there must have been somebody to recognize it. Now he says, and now Christian friend, he said, let me ask this question with all sincerity and love. He said, I wonder if he would make the same act tonight and send us in this generation the promised word that's promised for this generation. I wonder if our theologians and educators and wise would turn the message down just the same as they did then. He said, man doesn't change. Neither does God's word change. He's the unchanging God. He doesn't change. Isn't that right? He said, I wonder if God's doing the same thing today. And he has. God sent a humble little prophet. 20th century prophet. Isn't that right? To bring his word to five foot something. Not a very powerful man. But God was with him. God spoke through him. Every miracle was of God. Every word he spoke never fell to the ground. Every prophecy, even to this day, hallelujah, hallelujah, has never failed. God, hallelujah, isn't that right? The prophet said, not one word has ever fall to the ground. And if God promised us the Holy Ghost, that word cannot fall to the ground. If God promised to deliver us, that word cannot fall to the ground. That's why we preach this word. That's why we stay with this word. That's why we stand with this word. This word cannot fall to the ground. It must come to pass in its time and in its season. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. My word shall not return void, but it shall accomplish. Isn't that right? He said, notice, angels coming. Angels coming and giving their message to a man of such low estate. Where there were men much more 
earthly thought of, qualified than these poor illiterate shepherds. He said the shepherd was the most illiterate of anybody. He didn't know nothing but just uh, about his sheep. He didn't know mathematics. He didn't know how to split an atom. He didn't need no scholarship. He just had to know about his sheep. That's all that he needed to know. And God, the great wisdom and fountain of resource of all wisdom, would choose such a person as that, or persons rather, and bypass all the well-trained scholars that's trained to know that. He said it speaks of one thing. He said they were trained in the wrong field. He said they passed up all the importance of the land. They were important people, great teachers. Cyphus, the high priest, many other men. All of Israel's mighty learned, all the denominations, boasting of their theologians and so forth. God bypassed every one of them. He said, now that's God's wisdom. Oh, hallelujah. Just think about it. There are many nice people in this world. There's wonderful people. There's goodly people. If I look around and look for nice people and think about myself in that context, I wouldn't have stand a chance. Maybe I've made too much mistakes. There's people who've never spit on a sidewalk. There's wonderful people. People who get moral standards. People who have nice families. And yet God, in his wisdom, choose me to speak his word to. God, in his wisdom, choose you. If God is looking for nice people, I might lose that contest. If God is looking for goodly people, I might lose that contest. If God is looking for burly people, I might lose that contest. But God bypass the great. God bypass the mighty. And God come to humble little people. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. That he can speak his word to. Oh, hallelujah. God look for shepherds. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Oh, isn't that right? Yeah. Hey, Amen. David was a shepherd. All David know about is keeping his sheep. His brothers was the one trained for the army. His brothers was the one writing quantum mechanics and trying to get their papers so they could apply for the army and so on. David wasn't in that realm. David was still young in it. David was a shepherd boy playing his little harp. Hallelujah. But God was speaking a message to Samuel and says, Samuel, I have somebody I want to anoint. He never tell him who. He never tell him how. Praise God. He just tell him, go down and make a sacrifice and I will send you the one. Don't you worry. I'll give your witness i'll give you a witness of that king that is to be king over israel hallelujah and samuel go down there he have no clue who it is he just know he have to anoint somebody so he come with his horn of oil and he's looking for a witness in the house of jesse isn't that right he bypassed this one he bypassed that one he bypassed that one and god said don't look at the outward appearance god literally told him don't look at the outside god look tell him look at the heart god is looking at that outside appearance God looking at how big how tall how strong how how short praise God no no that has nothing to do with it but God predestinated a little shepherd boy to be king over Israel that was God's choosing that was according to the good pleasure of his own will in other words it give God a smile to choose David it made God smile in his heart to choose David to be king and it made God smile to choose you in 20 16 it was according to the good pleasure of his will oh it made God happy to choose you because he knew you could do it oh hallelujah 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 <laughs> Gideon didn't think much of himself me he started to state his case say I'm the least of my brother and of the house and so forth and that's who God wanted. God wanted the least. Because with less, he could do more. Hallelujah. When you have all these numbers, you can't prove God. Hallelujah. It doesn't prove God's faith. Well, God had to cut down the numbers. So throughout the years, that's what he was doing. Some fell upon wayside. Some fell upon stony. Some fell upon thorns. And God was cutting down the numbers until he could get to that good ground. That good ground that could show forth the praises of his glory. Oh, you are good ground this morning. Oh, you're not hearing me this morning. God 
God bypass the great, God bypass the intellect and look down in the heart and find good ground in all souls. He found something that he could work with, something that he could move with. Here's my spirit flowing freely. God wants to flow unhindered. God wants to flow unrestricted. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. God wants to move in you. Praise God in a way that he's never moved before. Oh, you are the cream of the crop this morning. Oh, hallelujah. The prophet said, I'm only building. I'm only laying a foundation for a short, quick message that's going to shake the whole nation. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we say amen this morning? Oh, give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen, amen. amen. Humble people. Simple people. That's who God used. He said, Peter, love is thou me. He said, yes, Lord, surely you know I love you. Love is thou me, Peter. He said, then feed my sheep. See, prophet said, always choosing shepherds. Amen, amen. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. My God. Okay. Let me skip on down here now. Uh, all right. Praise God. You love him this morning. Amen. amen. Isn't he wonderful? Amen. Okay. Well, um, amen. Praise God. Uh, should I finish this? All right. I'll just go on. Amen. For a message, go tell. Amen. Said in the Bible time, there was a jubilee year come. He said people that were sold out to their debts that they owed, they owed a debt and they couldn't pay it. So they went and sold themselves to people for slaves. And they had to be their slave, their bond slave all their life. But ever so often, he said there will come a day of grace, what was known as a jubilee year. And when the jubilee year was come, they went a priest out and sounded a trumpet. And that trumpet denoted to every slave, no matter how long he had been serving or how much longer he had to serve, he said when that trumpet sounded, that slave was made free. He could lay down the hoe and go home to his children. He didn't have to work any longer because he was free when the jubilee sounded. He said that trumpet gave not an uncertain sound, but it gave a certain sound. Yeah. He said and that man could lay down his instrument and go home free from slavery. He said and this morning the Bible said that if the trumpets give an uncertain sound, who will know what to do? He said and if the Bible has preached that Jesus Christ has raised from the dead, he says he is the same yesterday, today and forever. And the trumpets that we are hearing sounded today. Said the days of miracles has passed. He said that's today's trumpets. He says there's no such thing as divine healing. He said who will know how to prepare themselves. He said but what we need today is anointed messengers from God. Amen. Hallelujah. He said that he is raised from the dead and that he is the same yesterday, today and forever. He said that's the message of the day. He said oh there's been great messages. He said but Easter capped them all. He said great messages. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said but Easter was all of it. He said when the dead was made preparation that the last enemy. He seen we see sickness healed in the Old Testament. We've seen miracles performed in the Old Testament. There were visions come in the Old Testament. He said, but every man went right to the grave, wondering if ever he would rise again. But on Easter morning, when these disciples got the greatest message that any man could ever get, he said, what did they get? Go tell my disciples, I am risen from the dead. Death has been conquered. Oh, hallelujah, go. He said, not only go, but tell. Go and tell my disciples. Go and let my people know that I am not dead, but I am alive this morning, just as I ever was. We have a message from God this morning. Go tell my disciples, I am not dead, but I am alive this morning. I'm here to fill you. I'm here to seal you. I'm here to break the chains. I'm here to break the shackles. Stand still and see the salvation of your Oh God this morning oh hallelujah hallelujah the greatest message on the earth oh hallelujah 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 Jesus Christ the same yesterday the same today the same forever isn't that right he was the message he was a messiah he was a word anointed for that day isn't that right for that season and that time he said when you see me you see the father isn't that right 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. And Jesus keep dropping off words to them. Isn't that right? He said, the works that I do, shall you do also? St. John 14, 12. St. John 14, 20. He said, on that day, ye shall know I am in my Father. Ye in me, and I in you, and you in me. Isn't that right? Keep dropping off words to them. And they didn't know what he was talking about. Hallelujah, they were messages. But they didn't know. He was trying to communicate with them. But they didn't know. All he could do was prophesy over them. Because their understanding was not open yet. Isn't that right? Hallelujah, he told them that in three days, I'll raise this temple up again. And the Pharisees got Got confused and the Sadducees got upset because they thought he was talking about the physical temple but he was talking about his own body and they were confused oh hallelujah and Jesus spoke in parables and the disciples asked him why speakest thou in parables and he says not for them to know the mysteries of the kingdom but for you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom he said blessed are your eyes for what you see blessed are your ears for what you hear oh all because you are going to understand everything that is being spoken everything that is being said oh hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah but their works did show that they didn't understand when he was in the garden of Gethsemane he was praying and said not by will but that will be done and they were sleeping in the corner isn't that right when he was arrested and tried hallelujah hallelujah before Pilate they were running scared hallelujah different ones Peter denied Christ you heard the story isn't that right hallelujah they didn't understand the message here yeah, they walked with him for three and a half years but they didn't understand what he was trying to tell them they didn't know what they were going to receive they didn't know who they were all they knew was God called them but they didn't know about the inheritance they didn't know about the Holy Ghost they didn't know about all these great things yet it was preached to them hallelujah 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 and God knew it so after that he had resurrected he gave a message with these humble little sisters he said go and tell my disciples that I am not dead but I am alive and I'm gonna come back to you and I'm gonna talk with you a little while and when they came they brought the message oh Holland they were with exceeding great joy because they seen something oh hallelujah brother sister if you ever see something if God ever open your eyes to see something brother you will jump you will shout you will give God all the praise all the honor all the glory because he spoke to you and you received his message oh hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah they couldn't believe it they were astounded thomas said i will not believe unless i touch and feel and so forth so here come jesus he appeared unto them and said it is i behold my hands behold my feet it is i jesus he showed them evidence that this is the risen savior and they will be they were wonder they were in amazement praise god hallelujah hallelujah isn't that right and he told thomas he said thomas you're a big talker he said i heard what you said come come and touch come and feel he said oh lord my god he hallelujah jesus said blessed are those who have not seen but yet they still believe oh hallelujah 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 brother i wasn't there when the prophet walked the earth but i believe i'm identified with his message i wasn't there when malachi for he was sick i wasn't there when malachi for raised the dead oh but i believe and i identify with his message i was born along the way in the wilderness oh hallelujah but i believe this message we believe this message oh hallelujah hallelujah the prophet was never in Trinidad but his message got home and we are here this morning to give the devil a final knockout punch hallelujah we were born for this hour praise God hallelujah amen 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 oh hallelujah 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 oh Jesus said as my father had sent me even so send now you he breathed upon them <sighs> receive the holy ghost he gave them a message he stayed with them 40 days teaching and preaching the scriptures uncoding the messages that he had decoded to them earlier on he was now decoding it to them little by little beginning to understand what he was saying here what he was saying there it came back to their remembrance what he spoke with them while he was yet with them in galilee and when he ascended on heaven they went back to jerusalem with great joy 
because they understood by revelation what they were about to receive oh they were anointed with a message praise God they wasn't afraid of the Romans they wasn't afraid of the centurions they wasn't afraid of the soldiers he said go ye out into the world and preach the gospel oh hallelujah oh hallelujah oh they hauled themselves into the upper room they were dry seeds they didn't feel like it but they worship God anyhow they didn't feel like it but they praise God anyhow because they knew what they were going to receive they knew that they had received the greatest message on the earth Messiah is on the earth now and all of a sudden all of a sudden there came a sound from the heaven a rushing mighty wind and they received praise God the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Oh, get a lot of shout of pray. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, my, 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 my. Woo. Hooray. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, it's coming, friends. We have not believed in vain. We have a more sure word of prophecy that the Holy Ghost that filled Peter is going to fill you. Yes, my brother, the same Holy Spirit that filled Mary is going to fill you, my sister. You are going to act the same way. You are going to speak in tongues. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to praise God, do the things that he said we would do. In my name we shall cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. If they eat any unclean thing, it shall not harm them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. This message is real. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm getting ready to close. The thing is true. But the time was long. The thing was true. But the time was long. And when Daniel understood the thing that God was about to do, Daniel got to praying. Daniel got to fasting. And that's what we got to do. Ain't no revival ever came without a burden and a sacrifice of prayer. Oh, hallelujah. You got to get, get down on your knees and begin to do some neology. Because God is coming. Let's get ready for it. Jesus is coming. Let's make ready for it. The Holy Ghost is coming your family is going to be delivered your house is going to be delivered with my people that humble themselves and pray and seek my face you are going to hear from heaven oh hallelujah 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 the devil has tried to hold you for so long but no more the hour of salvation has come oh hallelujah 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 isn't that right i'm getting ready to close Hallelujah. The greatest relay race of all time has been taking place all along. Since Paul established the faith in the early church, he's been passing the battle on. He passed the battle on to Irenaeus. Irenaeus to Martin. Martin to Columba. Columba to Luther. Luther to Wesley. Wesley to the Pentecostal. Hallelujah. Malachi 4 come on the scene with the entire word. And he ran his race. And he finished his course. But now therefore, there is another people in the land. We have the battle this morning. And we're going to run. We're going to run. We're not going to let the devil keep us back pray we are fighting we are chopping away give me my mountain give me my mountain two hundred thousand thousand devils cannot stop us this morning oh we have the baton we have the king's message let my people go oh we have the king's message this morning we have the devil's answer this morning God's gonna answer by fire let that God be God this morning Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Oh, the musicians can get ready. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, are you in the expectation this morning? Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, you can remain standing. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Branham says here, Laodicean church age. 
He said in the dark ages, the word was almost entirely lost to the people. He said, but God sent Luther with the word. The Lutherans spoke for God at that time, but they organized. And again, the pure word was lost for organization, dogmas and creeds. The hallelujah are not the word. He said they could no longer speak for God. He said, so then God sent Wesley and he was a voice with the word in his day. And the people who took his revelation from God, they became living epistles, read and known of all men for their generation. He said that when the Methodists fail, God raised up others. And so it has gone on through the years until in this last day, there is again another people in the land who under their messenger will be the final voice to the final age praise God oh I say to you church we are that people we are the final voice to the final age once more the world will hear direct from God that voice will be failing you that voice will be failing you saying come oh hallelujah revelation 22 17 let the spirit and the bride say come whosoever will let him come and drink of the water of life freely May the Lord bless you. I'm finished this morning. The greatest message on the earth. Hallelujah. You have received God's message. May you be filled, my brother. May you be filled, my my sister. May you receive the Holy Ghost. May you be healed. May you be delivered. May he restore you. May he fill you. May he, hallelujah, pour a blessing upon you. It's my prayer this morning. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Give the Lord a shout of praise this morning. Yay. Yay. Many, many, many. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Brother Joshua, amen. You can come. Amen. Oh, wonderful. Oh, blessed be wonderful name. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, give the Lord a shout of praise in the house this morning. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. The word is in the bride this morning. Oh, the greatest message. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many appreciate Brother Anthony this morning? Oh, God bless you, brother. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, how many need the anointing this morning? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, in spite of all that has been spoken this morning, we need the anointing to run with the word, to pass the battle this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be a wonderful name, Lord Jesus. Oh, send the anointing right now, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And fall on me, Lord. Hallelujah. Anointing, fall on me. Oh, anointing. Fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me Let the power of the Holy Ghost Fall on me Anointing fall on me Anointing fall on me Oh, anointing
heavenly only right now. Oh, Lord. Oh, your anointing is here this morning, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, your word has been spoken, Lord Father. Oh, keep it a strength to one in the waist, Lord Father. Oh, let your anointing fall on me, Lord. Quicken your word, Lord Father. Oh, let your word live in me, Lord. Jesus anointing anointing oh fall on me oh anointing fall on me let the morning oh bring it to life in our hearts and our souls and our body lord father oh thank you lord jesus oh hallelujah hallelujah oh how many appreciate the word this morning oh hallelujah hallelujah the greatest message on earth oh thank you lord jesus oh hallelujah why don't you greet your brother and greet your sister and say God bless you. The word is in the bride this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Let's sing that song. One of them, one of them. I'm so glad I can say that I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Oh, I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Hallelujah, one of them, one of them, one of them. Hallelujah, I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. I'm one of them, I'm one of them, one of them, one of them. Oh, I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Oh, hallelujah, one of them. One of them, hallelujah. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Oh, one of them, oh, one of them. I'm one of them, oh, one of them. Oh, I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them, hallelujah. One of them, oh, one of them. can say I'm one of them I'm one of them I'm one of them I'm gonna be filled this morning oh one of them I'm gonna be healed this morning oh I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them hallelujah one of them one of them one of them hallelujah I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them I'm one one of them, one of them, I'm one of them. Oh, hallelujah! I, I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Hallelujah! One of them, yes, one of them. Hallelujah! I, I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Oh, one more time, I'm one of them. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little. 
get a lot of my yes I, I'm gonna let it shine this little light this little light of mine yes I, I'm gonna let it shine oh let it shine let it shine let it shine this little light of mine this little light of mine yes I'm gonna let it shine oh this little light of mine Yes, I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine Oh, I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine I won't let Satan, I won't let Satan Oh, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it I won't let Satan blow it Shame of who I am this morning. This little light of mine. Oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. One of them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Sing one more song before we close this morning service. Oh, draw me, draw me, Lord, and I'll come running after you. Draw me, Lord. Oh, draw me, Lord. Make it a prayer. Be sincere about it. Oh, your word is in me, Lord Father. Oh, continue to draw me to you, Lord Father. Oh, I won't turn back, Lord. Just mention my name this morning, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, and I'll come 
more time. I'll come running. Oh, 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 oh. I'll come running after thee. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. How many appreciate the word this morning? Oh, the greatest message on earth. Oh, the word. It cannot be turned void this morning. Oh, hallelujah. As we bow and close our eyes, as we dismiss this portion of the service. Oh, gracious heavenly Father, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Father, we can say, mission accomplished, Lord Father. The word is in the bride. Oh, your messenger has brought the word forth to us, Lord Father. Oh, Lord, and we are living testimony of it, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we ask that you quicken that word in us, Lord. Fill us with your anointing, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, and make us more like you, Lord, as we prepare, Lord, for your coming, Lord. Your, oh, Lord, your visitation once again, Lord Father. Oh, Lord, as we are about to leave this place, Lord, but not from your presence, Lord Father. I pray that your Holy Spirit will go before us, Lord. And bring us back at the appointed time, Lord. Bless each and every one of us, Lord. I mean, your spirit, Lord, go with us, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray and ask it. Amen and amen. Brother Stephen.